In this video, we will discover how people produced money and gold. The first one would be process of production and printing euro banknotes, one of most powerful currency in the world. Cutting. Pulp, the raw material for paper, is shredded into fine pieces using a paper shredder. The paper material for banknotes is made from pure cotton fiber, avoca pulp, and other fibers. Defibering. The paper material is defibered appropriately for different applications. Cleaning. Dust and other foreign matter is removed from the paper material. Mashing. Closely intertwined fibers make paper strong. Thus, fibers are ground so that they will mesh well with each another. Mixing. Various materials for paper are mixed with chemicals to produce the final paper material for banknotes. Paper making. Sheets of paper are made from paper material using paper machines. This process is called paper making, in which paper material is poured over a net to create a thin layer of paper, which is then dried and rolled up. Delicate watermarks are also created. Cutting. Rolled paper is cut precisely to predetermine dimensions. In this process, the roll of banknote paper is changed into sheets. Counting. Paper sheets are counted accurately using a counting machine. Sheets of banknote paper are sent to the printing process. Then, move to printing production process. Original drawing. European Central Bank has designers with advanced skills and a wealth of experience who specialize in designing and plating banknotes. Designers use brushes and pigments to create original full-scale drawings. Original plating. Original plates are carefully engraved by highly skilled and experienced designers. The texture and the spatial effect of the design are created by making minute changes to the thickness of the lines and to how the plates are engraved. Plate making. A printing plate is created from each of the completed original plates. A pressure of one ton is applied per square centimeter of the plate. In order to prevent the plates from wearing out, they are coated and given a smooth and hard finish. Serial number printing. Serial numbers, needed for the management of valuable banknotes and other uses, are printed on sheets. Cutting. Printed large sheet of papers are precisely cut into predetermined dimensions. Inspection. Finishing. After cutting, pieces are inspected, counted and banded, and packaged in units of 1,000 notes. Wrapping. Bundles are individually wrapped for delivery to the European Central Bank. Completion. Banknotes as described above are produced daily at the European Central Bank. The euro has now been for two decades, and to celebrate its 20th anniversary, we would put together a few things that you never knew you wanted to know about the currency. 1. The euro sign has meaning. The euro symbol euro was inspired by the Greek letter epsilon, E, a reference to the cradle of European civilization. It also stands for the first letter of the word, Europe, in the Latin alphabet, while the two parallel lines running through the symbol signify stability. 2. The printing of euros takes place all over Europe. The ECB does not produce all of the physical euro banknotes in circulation. The printing of euros takes place under license by national central banks and private companies in 11 highly secure locations across the EU.2. For the first printing of the new European currency, G plus D is the largest printer, printing half of the German euro quantity, among other items. The largest paper supplier for the new banknotes is the Louisenthal paper mill. Throughout the production process, hundreds of manual and automated tests are performed to ensure that banknote denominations are identical regardless of where they were printed. 3. Euro banknotes are made of cotton. Banknote paper is made largely from cotton fibers, so-called cotton oils, which are a waste product from the textile industry. In 2019, approximately 5,210 tons of cotton fibers were used to make Euro banknotes, and 57% of these fibers were certified as originating from sustainable sources. Going forward, the target is to use sustainable cotton for all Euro banknote production. 4. The euro is one of the least forged major currencies in the world. The proportion of counterfeit notes in circulation is small and now at a record low. In 2020, only 17 in every 1 million notes was identified as a forgery. The banknotes have a host of security features, ranging from obvious ones such as holograms and watermarks through to more subtle features such as microprinting. 
Still, other security features can only be viewed under ultraviolet light and are not visible to the naked eye at all. 5. Some states outside the EU have adopted the euro as their currency. In addition to being the currency of 19 EU countries, the euro is now the official currency of Kosovo, Montenegro, and the sovereign base areas of Akrotiri and Dekelia. The gold mining process is circular and follows a cycle of exploration, mining, processing and rehabilitation and closure. The following sections outline the mining cycles and provide some insights into the unique approach of the operation. Exploration Mineral exploration begins with initial stage prospecting to determine if a mineral resource exists. If positive results are found, exploration activities move into an initial phase of drilling. This provides samples of the rock to help draw reasonable conclusions about the potential resource. Samples are sent to a laboratory where they are assayed to determine the quantity of gold in the targeted volume of rock. These results are then used to create a mineral resource estimate, which further defines the levels of confidence in the mineral resource. Mining. Tall, wide steps called benches are drilled to define ore and waste, and then the area is blasted. This breaks up the rock and makes it easier to transport. Waste rock is transported to a waste rock stack which is rehabilitated or used to stabilize and fill previously mined areas. Gold-bearing ore is transported to stockpiles ready for processing. To obtain 1 to 2 grams of gold the open pit mining operation must move 11 tons of rock. Processing. There are three stages, crushing and grinding, flotation and oxidization, leaching and adsorption. Rehabilitation and closure. Mine rehabilitation and closure complete the mining cycle. The gold refining process. Ensuring precious metals are refined by a reputable and accredited refinery can make all the difference for the producer and their business goals. The basic overview is that a refinery receives raw material such as gold nuggets or doré from mining companies. This material is then heated to molten metal and chlorine gas injected to separate the gold from other metals impurities. Once separation has occurred, the gold is tested, also known as assaying, to determine the purity before it's cast into bars. A below detailed step-by-step -step process to ensure the end users receive the highest quality and purity of gold. 1. Doré melting. Rough gold deposits are melted and electromagnetically stirred. Immersion dip sampling also takes place to extract representative samples from the mixed metal prior to the analysis stage. 2. Sampling. Five samples are then taken, with three sent to the laboratory and the other two retained for independent customer and umpire analysis. 3. Assaying. Bullion analysis relies on high-accuracy microbalances. These balances record the weight to one millionth of a gram, with the newest balance reading ten millionth of a gram. The whole process is highly technical, skilled, and accurate. In this part of the process, there are two further steps. XRF screening takes place to determine the gold, silver, and base metals. Once complete, fire assay is used to separate the base metals from the precious metals. This dual stream analysis is conducted by two separate analysts to ensure the final results provide the greatest accuracy possible and confirm a truly representative sample of the melt. 4. Payment. As you see, the purified gold sponge is placed into a dedicated crucible and then placed into a hot furnace. After some time, depending on the amount of sponge, the gold becomes molten. The crucible is removed from the furnace and the gold is poured into a dedicated bar mold. This gold is then ready for market at the highest price possible.